Hi. Hi, Agnish Ganesan. First of all, what made you want to run for international officer? I think it's the experience that we've had uh, from running to national society. So I'm the uh, president of the Polish Society and Hassan is... I'm a president of Islamic society, so we feel like that there's a lot we can offer to the international students. Like a lot of times when they come to the university, they feel really intimidated, the whole experience. So we want to make the facilities more accessible to them. Okay. If you could, please summarize your manifesto. I think we've had four points in our manifesto. Yeah. So it's uh, reorganizing f um, student finance for international students. Um, it's also maintaining the successful events that have been developed by yeah. the student uh, international student association so far. We're thinking of also starting a drop-in session sort of thing. So like if international students are facing some sort of difficulty, they should know where they can come and then they should be they should feel comfortable that they will their voice will be heard and will be implemented like right now yes there are there are systems available but they are not very accessible to the people like the people are not very aware of it so we also want to raise awareness about the recent uh, global events and the attitude towards international students we want the um we want to facilitate um, a productive discussion about these issues with hearing both sides of the story. Universities are, as a rule of thumb, fairly liberal and accepting. Having said that, have you yourselves come across any instances of discrimination during your time on campus? Well, I have, I have heard of it. Like, So I was talking to one of the lecturers, I won't mention their name, but they were telling me that the tf students, which are international students, they are treated a bit differently when it comes to their thesis and stuff. So, uh, have, having said that, I haven't faced anything personally, but but I know of different people that who do go through some discrimination and stuff, uh, different s things like that. Yeah. Is there any way you feel you could combat that? Um, well, I think the main point uh, where stu international students may be discriminated are student finances. So we've talked to many students and uh, the level of uh, fees for international students are enormous compared to the domestic students and that's a thing that we want to um, change. Uh, also the availability of funds, so availability of hardship funds and maintenance uh, loans and grants. I mean, even though the university allows uh, international students to study at the university, they don't think what's next and how these students are supposed to um, finance themselves. Do you think a part-time officer has the power and or influence to do something as ambitious as reorganize international student study fees? Um, definitely. I mean, we will be able to lobby certain issues at the USU Forum. Uh, we can talk to the International Students Association. There are a lot of things that we believe that we can do. Uh, do you feel having dedicated societies for minority groups can block integration with the wider community? Would it not be better to include a broader range of people to help break down barriers? I think one does not necessarily exclude the other. For example, last term uh, we've made an effort with a lot of national societies uh, to make joint events. So the very successful Turn Up the Heat event, for example, uh, in the last term combined, I think, eight different societies from uh, the Hellenic Society, the Eastern European societies. And I think, I think the societies are more successful when they focus on their own nationality nationalities but at the same time they can combine and do something wonderful. at the same time it's good it goes the same way for the Islamic society as well we have done the interfaith events and we have done the collaborative events with other societies like Kazakhstan Turkish society Indonesian Brunei and we are organizing similar events, events in the future as well with even more societies so yeah yeah uh, the faith societies yes there's also yes. a connection between the nationalities and the faith exactly yeah, yeah. So, with Britain leaving the EU, does this bring any concerns about the future of international students studying in the UK? I think we're confident that this is not the Brexit case is not the end of the world for international students. I think we need to be conscious about potential uh, disadvantages uh, for students, but not necessarily panicked. And we need to. I think the point of our manifesto focus on facilitating. At the same time, like I was reading this. Uh, 